good size, Henry. Right? Two. Yeah. Three, maybe, yeah, two. Good size, what is it? Oh, that's a big onaga. That's a big onaga. That's a dozer onaga. Holy crap, Henry. Straight dozer onaga, Henry. The biggest onaga oh. ever, Henry. Holy crap. Yeah, came that didn't come off. <laughs> Dude. That's a what is up my adventure crew, Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. If it's your first time here, welcome aboard. If you're coming back, welcome back aboard. Today we're gonna start a fishing trip, and today I'm fishing my friend, Andre. What's up guys? First time, I guess, fishing on a boat, right? No. First time fishing really far out on a boat, yeah. <laughs> he has a jet ski, so he just got his first boat. So we're gonna try to break him in a little bit today. But before any good fishing trip, you always have to drop the musubi. So let's get this musubi in the water. And uh, we're definitely gonna start fishing today. So our plan today is pretty simple. We're gonna try to go, there's not much around, there's some Mai's and stuff, but mostly Aku, Skipjack is what we're gonna go for. So we're gonna get our line set, put them in the water, and then from there we're gonna see we chase the dream, see if we can get lucky today. Drop 100 percenter. Let's see if we can stay true this year. It's been true so far this year, every trip. Always double check your snap before you let it out. Good to go. Let it go. It's three o'clock. About tides coming down. It's gonna be about outside at four o'clock. And then it's gonna start going up after that. We've been fishing never go up all day. No one small bird pond in the morning now was it all day. So I was telling you, we can't give up. The tides are gonna change, it's gonna come alive. It's trying to come alive now, boys and girls. Never give up. Never give up. Yeah. Let's see if we get some action now. Come on, Dad. Your son's watching. All right. <laughs> you. Oh, it's an awkward day today. I don't know. It's been overcast all day, so that shed doesn't help. But first bird power. Come on, we got them on. Can't wait neutral, I'm gonna turn down see. They're smoking. They're here, they're biting. We're getting that bait, Henry. Getting that bait for that bottom fishing trip. In a couple days, perfect. Nothing like fresh aku. So we got our bait and we're ready to go bottom fishing the next day. Uh, me and Henry, as our game plan wants to get fresh bait. Thanks to Andre for helping us get the bait, but uh, it's time for bottom fishing. I guess what I mostly use here to see is the bottom fishing. And let's just say it's pretty epic. Henry started off strong, very strong. I'm Nick Morris, and that is the one and only Ninja Henry. We're bottom fishing, we're starting our day. We got shark two times in a row, it's pretty bad. Got our uku, Henry had a big uku on, the shark. Henry's got something good on now. Let's go. You're gonna really name for me? Or? Huh? Honey, I made a video to you, Henry. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Henry's asking for assistance. We're here to video to you, Henry. You got it. Alright, alright. Oh, looks like a big one, Henry. Two. Henry, you get two big ones. What's that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh. No. See. Oh. Yeah. oh, nice one. Yeah, you. Nice double. Do you have something else or what? No, that's it. Nice, and that's a double. Double right there. Eee. What? Where's yours? I'm just here for watching you, Henry. I'm not here to catch fish. I'm just here to watch you, Henry. Awesome. Welcome aboard, guys. I don't know, is our third drop of the day, I guess? Woo, nice one. All right, here we go. It's going to get good. We're going to be here all day. We hit the bottom of nighttime. Uh, it's about, about 3.30 in the morning. We left the harbor at 1 o'clock. All right, everybody. We'll see you shortly. We'll sit back up. See what Henry got. I just had a bite, I missed my bite. It was weird, back there felt like it was sand, Henry, back there. What? Huh? Oh. The big top, man. Stop it. Good job, Henry. <laughs> Clean up the reef. Oh boy. We're burning the beach. 
Man, double. He lost one at the top. What you got? Ooh, nice one. That's a dozer, Henry. Oh, bro. Uh -oh. That's the King Kong. You had two on, huh? I had two on. Oh, that's the Uku spot. What happened? You lost your health. You broke. Um, no. That's a dozer. Oh, yeah. Just a broke. Broke hook. Yeah. Uku's. There's definitely Uku's over here. Henry's holding a clinic today. What you got? Baby. Nice one. What a thing! It's a big one. Anyways, guys, Paco and I got my first fish of the day. That's hopefully not a shark. I tell you the drug, though. Nice. Oh! Oh! Where's the net? Where's the net? Where's the net? Oh, he's going down. He's going down. He's going down. Oh, a big shark. He's got it. Holy sh! Did you just get your fishes now? Oh, I got one. Yes. Yeah. Don't lose your lead. Oh, that was a huge shark, dude. That was a eight for Galapagos, huh? Yeah. Oh! Yeah, he got that crap. Do you saw where that shark was? At least you don't lose your lead. We got the lead back, yeah. Yeah, don't lose your lead. Henry, how how's your morning going so far, Henry? Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. well, which one you want? Dude. Unbelievable. That's two big ukus too. One for the friends, one for the family. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So see how first you see me. Yeah. That's our Pokeballs right there. Uh. What do you think it is, Nick? Open up for the police. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. The good thing about the white polo bag is it looks like you always have something, yeah? Always. Oh, it's red. Hey! Hey, who? It's about time you got on the board, Nick. <laughs> There's just one. Oh man, no, I saw multiple. Two? Two Come on! I got two. That's it. Hey. That's better than the Kali Kali I just got. Oh yeah. Get two fish, take that. Alright. We're on the board. We're on the board. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo. laughs> We're gonna head over to the spot with real leg and then that's the spot on the way home we guys hit, so it's cool. I always want Scott to find new spots. Alright boys, here we go for the dream. Finally on the board. I don't want to catch fish eventually. I want to catch something. That is clear today though. Oh my god. I got a lot of catch up to do. It's a fair race now. Drop your mind, we have a new spot we're trying to test out. The spot we have to go to, they have nothing. We didn't want to crap with me. Oh Henry, you got a good one on there, Henry. Hey, do you want to make it like the shorts? Oh. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> this guy. All right, Henry. All right, Henry. I saw what you did there. <laughs> she has to put up with. Someone's gonna have to swim on breeze. It's a far swim, Henry. Forty-six miles, Henry. So you want to swim on forty-six miles? So I have to put up with because you guys, you guys want to razz them on in the comments every time. Oh, Henry's a killer. I'm glad you're just there for more support, Nick. Good size, I think. Two. Yeah. Three, maybe, yeah, two. Good size, what is it? Oh, that's a big one, Aga. That's a big one, Aga. That's a dozer on Aga. Holy crap, Henry. Straight dozer on Aga, Henry. The biggest on Aga ever, Henry. Holy crap. That didn't come off. Dude, that's a straight dozer on Aga, Henry. That's a straight dozer, Henry. Bruh! I think that's at least three pounds. Oh, that's the dozer. That's the. That's what we came here for. Oh, that's the size right there, dude. Oh, oh that's sick. I tell you the drug, baby. That's epic. That's that ass. Oh, 
Hala la la la. What is that? Is it down? Yeah. The paka? I'm not too sure. The paka is the stuff. I just hope it's not a... Oh, oh. Paka. This is crazy, yeah? Huh? Crazy. You snagging? What happened? Is it? Is it a paka? Oh, it's on. Yeah, it's a paka. Wait, is it? I don't think so, he's not. Not small. Yeah. It's a cully cully, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. I think it's a cully cully. They look very similar. I don't know. The one coming up right now. I need to find a pretty good spot. I want to eat my salad lunch. Or salad breakfast, brunch. Right, Henry? Yeah. I need to find a killer spot. First drop, hit the bottom, instant bingo bango. Where is Kahalan? came off the Did it? It looked like it did. I thought they did. Got an eagle off that drop. Hey, so I know we've been forgetting. Try to give the moose to be. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get something, you gotta give something. So make sure you feed the sea god. Totally fair, you want to spell moose to We'll make sure we put it in the powder bag and we'll send it straight down to him. Straight down to the bottom. Alright. That'll definitely work. Okay, let's send our moose to be down to the sea gods. So you give us something good this time. So it appears the Musubi might have worked. It's not really fighting now. But I got one on. And Harry's got one on. The Musubi definitely did the trick. What is that Henry? It's good size. And the Ehu. Oh, got your line. Oh. There's a little tangle coming up. I don't know if I got mine or not. Oh, this is Henry, but Henry got a nice little ew. Nice. Hey, spit, spit up that fish. Oh, that's cool. Nice ew. Hey, bring this guy up now. Nice and dead now. I see your fish, I always gotta brain them to kill them. Beautiful fish though. For something that's like 800 feet deep, beautiful. Wild them we all. Two stars, I don't know if we got ours there. I think I lost it. And the last double up, Henry got here is I lost mine, but I don't know if it was just taking another double up or what, but we another drop scenario. And hopefully we can get lucky, no bites yet. You got one on Henry? No bites yet. Wait, 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 look at this. It's like a lake today. All right, let's get a bird's eye view of what this looks like. Never give up is in full effect. We're tired, we've been up all night. We are on a huge pile of fish. They haven't been biting. We've been on for over an hour and a half, two hours. We've got one here, one there, and they're just starting to turn on. Henry's on, I am on. It's just starting to turn on now. Henry's got a bend though. Oh, 
Mine is up. Mine came off. Senri's gonna show us how it's done. I'll show you how it's done. Yeah, show us Henry. Entertain. Oh! The Onaga Slayer is here today, everybody. This guy is just, he's just showing off now. Hold up, Henry. You're just showing off now. At least I know I'm eating that one. <laughs> Henry, you spit up all kinds. What is that? Look at the stuff you spit up, Henry. What is that? It's Ika. Oh no, fish in this fish. It's like shrimp. Look at that. That's a shrimp right over there. Look at that one. It's a shrimp. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be epic now. It's 10.43, the tide's changing. It's gonna get real good. All right, everybody. We'll see you back here very shortly. Dumping my baits now. I'm trying to get tangled for you guys. Just for, just for you guys, I'm gonna show you how it looks to get a tangle. There we go. Drop bait, not phones. Yeah, drop bait, not phones. No, that is definitely the truth, Henry. Pretty much the same spot I lost my phone last time. There's some sentimental value to this area, I'd say. Now phones. Our poly bag with our light. I will see you later. 900 feet later. Alright, boy. See if we get them on. Mm, we drifted off a little bit here, but there's some fish on there still. We're on. Henry on? Henry's on. Henry, tell me what just happened. What almost happened on the fly bridge? <laughs> I saw slow motion, a phone go over the side and bounce right before I hit the water. It bounced so. right between the green part of the sea and landed on the gun and bounced back in the boat. I literally dropped my phone again. I was like, oh my God. Right, you're supposed to drop the lead, not the phone. It's not my phone, I was super tired. I like those off of the phone of my hand. So bad. I don't even screw I think I'm out of warranties already. <laughs> I have to find a new one. All right, let's get these fish up. Let's see what happens, boys and girls. Yeah, you. Good job, Henry. Yes. Do my see that, Henry? That's not good. I'm on to. We hit him good on this drop. We hit him real good on this drop. Twelve o'clock. Henry was right here. He's like, ah. Oh. This full moon, I think it's gonna be better a little bit later about noon. He's right, never give up. Noon, it's here, the fish are biting. Like the pile really showed up at our spot, we normally go to, which is awesome. So we'll see what happens. I hope it's not a Kahala Mall. That's Kahala Mall. Oh, he's got swim step. It looks like you got something else, yeah? No. Or is that feet magnification? The bag of stuff that we didn't really want, but we got. <laughs> That's what that bag is. This is called the bag of stuff we don't really want, but we got. Olus, Kahalas, Giant Ates. We have to reverse on it a little bit, keep us in the zone. Slow our drift down. Henry, it's almost up, Henry. Kali Kali. That'll do. You get it? Yeah! <laughs> Champion! <laughs> and we're still up and down! Yeah! I need to pop it over his energy. That's awesome! I was like, I had a fish that it came off. There it is! Oh, Henry, big pop, Henry, big pop. That's how you score a nice. What's that, Onaga? Oh, what? Ah, oh, Kali Kali. Ah, it's okay though. We'll take it. There's no Kali Kali, I think that much. Henry just got one of the most rarest fish in Hawaii. Unbelievable, super rare. Show it, Henry. Henry, show it. Golden Kali Kali. Look at that. Wow. 
literally one of the most rarest fish in Hawaii. I think they say only like three or four of those are caught a year. Extremely super, super rare. Awesome job, Henry. You have, to report, you have to report it to the state every time you catch one of those. That's how rare they are. Super rare fish. Nah, it's not that rare. Nobody really likes those. They don't taste that good. They taste good, but not that good. But they taste good. <laughs> All right, grinding it out slowly. It's a struggle to get a bite today. That fumu does not help with the currents. So other spot dried up, so uh, found new spot. Marked the fish, now we're gonna try to make a drop on. Oh, there's a well right there, Henry. Some fish on the bottom. 93 fathoms, kind of on the shallower side, but should have pretty, like, oh wow, those wells are awesome. It is, it is definitely well season in Hawaii. I'll show you where the wells are, but I, I've been told not to show shoreline when I'm bottom fishing, so I get in trouble from people. So sorry guys, we can't see the wells right now. But maybe we should put the drone up. How's your line, Henry? Straight down. Uh, a little bit further back. We'll do that pre-reverse just to put us on it. Push the reverse. Shallow zone. Yeah. Just so you can, there's a lot of fish on there, Henry. Should I reverse to get my line straight up and down? And that's why you reverse. So, that is the tip that we learned over the last few trips of doing good, not doing good. Is you gotta keep your line straight up and down. That's cute. Twin engines definitely help the situation, for sure. Give my a few good shakes to pop the palu bag open. To get all the palu out down there by my bait. I wanna rest on the bottom. Oh my God, I got fish on. I got fish on. All right, pretty much, I got something on. We'll come back to this. We'll set it and we'll forget it. Fish. You got something? Another super rare fish, dude. Or is that a gindai? gindai? Maybe gindai. Gindai. Yes. Nice. Oh, that's a big gindai. Nice one. Nice gindai. Super good fish for a steamer. Right there. What's that? Look, there's a lobster tail in his mouth. Right? Oh, there is. That's a cool. He's a lobster in his mouth. Pull out, Henry. Dead, right? Pull out. Oh, that's cool. That's going on my hook. Get <laughs> a lobster. That's so cool. This probably a good night too, Henry. When it, when it actually works out, you get a bite fast. It's not always like that. It's not always like that, trust me. Nice skin, though. One of the prettier fish. Great for a steamer, for sure. So I'm not in reverse right now. I'm just saying like wind and waves push me, the current push me. And you can see, look at the angle of the line. You know what I mean? So I'm not reverse right now. Because we have to go back around to get back over the spot again. But as you can see, this is why you have to reverse. So it's not like this, it's more straight up and down. You actually get a way better bite. It'll be a lot more productive that way. And just some of the the tips that we've learned, you know what I mean? It's not no special tips, it's what we've learned so far. I might help you guys out. As long as you give a thumbs up, you know what I mean? Not much ask for, it's free. All right, let's see what we got. I'm pretty sure it's a good die. Well, I have a hard time seeing well, it. a big good die. Yeah. Oh, no, that's a real one. That's a big one. Look at the bends. Get in your honors to get out. So his eyes don't really look like that, but since they come from so deep, his eyes pop out. He looks like the bends. That's a begin die, yeah? Oh, that's a dozer. So what Henry was gonna do next is you know he's gonna brain it just to kill it. The most unique thing to do. And he makes the fish a lot better quality. Just brain it, go for a brain. And normally you hit the brain, wags his tail like that, tell you thank you very much, and he's done. For you. Pretty fish though. And then put the blood out, let the blood drain. Good to go. All right, let's set back up, boys. You know that's how you do it. When it works out, when it works out. It's not always that easy. Still on, Henry. Still on. Yeah. Twenty-one thousand. Yes, sir. I know what it is. Oh, that's how the eyes are supposed to look. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Huh? Yeah. Cool. All right, let's set that up. Pretty good. Pretty good. Then pretty good. 3.30, we're not done yet. Never give up, baby. 
Everybody else gave up. Everybody left. No disrespect to those guys. I understand. Some guys got home early. Some guys just don't like to fish all day. Us, we'll fish like it's dark. <laughs> dark, dark. Right, Henry? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's Kahala. Ugh. Ugh. I'm on the board. Kahala Mall. Yeah, you. Come on, Henry. Come on, Henry. Kahala Mall. I hope I don't get one of those. I don't think so, though. I was not playing as hard as that. Yeah, I thought it was a little suspect. That's a big kahala. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's one kahala, there's a bunch of kahalas. Nobody likes those over here, Amberjacks, because full of worms. <laughs> not always. I caught one the other week and I didn't film it. I wish I did. I think it was super nice, like super nice. I need uh, sushi made it. Super good. I was done filming, I did it for a week, so I was like, ah, it was too late already, but super nice. But, uh, let's see what else we got. Things are looking good. It's it is 3:47. We have 46 miles to get home. Things are looking up. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you guys like the bottom fish reaction. I don't know if you guys do. Let me know in the comments. You guys like bottom fishing? You guys like trolling? You guys like live eating? What kind of content do you guys like? You guys like diving? I'm no expert in anything. I'm not even close to be expert in anything. I'm more like just mediocre. I just know how to edit to make myself look good when I do stuff. But, uh, let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you guys want to see this year. I'm down for uh, for the adventure. So is the crew, so. Almost up, Henry. Or it might be a Kali Kali. You might have three fish on. I think that's a Kali Kali. Kali Kali, Gindai, and something else. Gindai and Gindai. You know what it is again? Gindai and Gindai? Kali Kali. Nice. Oh, that's a good night. Good night, good It's a piece of good night. Put it in here. Oh my gosh. Good night, good night. Take it also to the end of the line. You're gonna look it up, Henry. Things are looking up. Things are looking real up. All right, let's get some more, Henry. Let's go. And for all the fishing gear I use on this in this video, and pretty much all my videos, whatever I use, I have links to my bouts that year. It's pretty much all from highfishgear.com. And if you go over there, you use the raw five code and get 5% off, which is super epic. So yeah, so all the links are in my bow. Get everything over there, super fast shipping. I literally live 30, 40 minutes from the store, but I'd rather sit at home and do work at home and order online, and I get it the next day, which is epic. How's your line hanging up and down? Oh my god. Oh my god. How's that bite? Oh, I don't like the look of that bite, Henry. I do not like the look of that bite, Henry. That was the look of a Kahala. Oh god. Oh god. Henry. Henry, look at this nastiness. Let me load the bank stick. Oh. What is it? I don't know. Let me see it. Let me see it. Yeah, that's a Kahala. Yeah. Looks like one, right? Like a hollow or is it just me? It looks kind of like a kahala to me, but it might have multiples. Multiple hollows? Yeah, that's what I was reading. Oh, never mind. No, you got multiple fish. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, I see a gindai. Oh, that's a gindai. Yeah, 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 that's
And what I'm super stoked about is they are veteran owned. Awesome veteran owned company. Support your veterans. They mean awesome stuff. Definitely support a company like that. So Black Oak LED. Make sure we ride home with a nightlight, not in the dark. So I guess for what we made and what we didn't make. Um, overall, this trip actually, the bottom fishing trip helped cover the expenses from the, the bait trip. I thought we'd have done a lot better catching aqua and stuff, but it's it kind of the slow time of year, you know what I mean? It's, it's starting to pick up now. As it gets closer to summertime, it's gonna get better. But bottom fishing wise, we did overall pretty good. Um, we kept a couple uh, couple fish each. Uh, we kept all the all the pakas, the paka pakas, and everything else was pretty much sold. So for the uku, we had 18.8 pounds at $5 a pound, $94. The Eohus, we had 12.9 pounds at $10 a pound, that's $129. Kali Kali, 24.6 pounds at $5 a pound for $123. We had a Tape for $360. Oh yeah, that was a money fish. And we had Ging Dyes, 10.1 pounds at $10 a pound for $101. For a grand total, we made $450.60 and we ate really, really good. Expense wise, we did 70 gallons in fuel uh the 70 gallons you know because for the two days the first day of catching aqua and the next day bottom fishing 70 gallons in fuel for 266 dollars and 50 hours in ice which i think came out to 316 dollars total expenses for two days we made 450 dollars and 60 cents so a total in the green ice about 135 dollars me and henry really really good henry did an awesome job henry henry killed it you guys can see henry started super strong early in the day towards the end of the day i picked up a little bit but Overall, it's pretty epic. We had all those Kahalas too. We didn't sell any of them. We gave them all to a friend um, who enjoys eating them. So I guess the the 135 hours, and we take away from the 25 hours that were negative last week. We're in the green, boys. We're in the green. We're doing pretty good. We're up to 110 dollars positive so far for the year. It's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. I'm not a full-time commercial fisherman. I, I'm a realtor. I sell real estate full-time on the side. That's what my day job is. And for me, fishing-wise, I know some of you guys are like, "Oh, you're not making no money fishing." Honestly, for me, it's just having fun. Trying on the water. If I can cover my expenses and get a meal for free, to me, that's an epic trip. I'm not about trying to make money and trying to make money every single trip. That's not what I'm about. But if I can cover my expenses, it's, a, it's an epic trip. So overall, we did super good. I was stoked. And uh, it's only going to get better. Next week's video, I think, is going to be pretty epic. The week after that, that solo morning trip for you guys, which is pretty gonna be pretty epic. You guys are gonna like that. But I guess that's it. As always, if you can't hit the subscribe if you're new here, post new videos. We're switching our times to Thursdays at 9 a.m. We're not gonna do the lives anymore. Uh, it's just easier for me that way, not doing the lives. I know everybody's busy on Sundays, but I guess that's it. So Thursdays, 9 a.m. We're not gonna be live anymore. It's just gonna be watching a regular video. But I think that's it. As always, guys, tight lines, stay fishing. We'll see you on the water, under the water, and uh super epic trip it's gonna get better boys and girls thanks guys thanks for watching i really appreciate you guys that's all fish in this video